Zig Ziglar said, success occurs when opportunity meets preparation. But that doesn't answer all our questions. So, let's look at another question. How do you discover an opportunity? I may not be able to give you a simple formula to discover a million-dollar opportunity, but I know some questions that can help you find new opportunities. They are, where is the world going and how can I be there first? This dual question can make you a millionaire because if you know where the world is going and you can figure out how to get there, you can help everyone else get there and charge them for it. In other words, if you know the kind of products, services or platforms that exist and the world will be using a whole lot in the nearest future, you can create just that and become extremely rich doing so. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the three industries I've personally discovered. These industries have moved from where they used to be so they give more opportunities for people who know where they are going. And if you're smart enough, you can become a millionaire by going where the world is moving to. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. 1. New Media Industry No, not necessarily the kind of media you know or think I'm talking about. You see, media is wherever people consume content and in this section, I'm going to show you how to make millions from a new kind of media which most people don't know. Here is how it all started. In 1690, Benjamin Harris published what is regarded as the first newspaper in history. It was titled Public Occurrences Both Foreign and Domestic. That was the beginning of mass media. From its beginning till date, hundreds of thousands if not millions of people have become rich by leveraging what Benjamin Harris started in the 17th century. 203 years after the invention of the newspaper, something bigger hit the world and that was the radio. By the year 1893, Guglielmo Marconi proved the feasibility of radio and by the year 1920s, radios have become the biggest media in the world. Everyone was crazy about it but something bigger was coming and that was the television in the year 1940. Again, smart entrepreneurs focused on the television because it's a superior technology to the radio and it can capture human visual and hearing attention, unlike radio which is only audio. The TV boom was considered as the biggest thing after the invention of water. Okay, nobody invented water so I was only messing around but you get the point. The TV was big. But there was a problem. There was a problem with all of the above three industries. You needed a lot of money to get involved. You can't start a newspaper business until you have millions of dollars. Television and radio are crazily expensive, so they are usually businesses for the rich. However, something crazy happened in the year 1983 and that was more attention being paid to connecting computers and by the year 1990, something called the internet had become a toddler. Today, today according to a recent report, an average person now spends more than 6 hours every day on the internet and that's a big opportunity if you have an interest in building a media company. Why did I say that? Well, most time people spend online is spent consuming content and don't forget what I told you earlier, media is content. Everything else you were told is meaningless. You think about it, why do we read the newspaper, listen to the radio or watch television? It's because of content. The good thing about the internet is that it's free to start a media company right here. While you need millions of dollars to start a TV business, you don't need any money to start a YouTube channel. While you need hundreds of thousands to start a newspaper business, you don't need more than $100 to start a blog. While you need a lot of money to start a radio business, you don't need more than a few dollars to start your online podcast shows and any of these can make you millions if it is what you have passion for. I am telling you what I know. 2. New Education Industry If you mentioned education in the last 30 years, everyone thinks about school, colleges and universities. Because everyone thought these institutions were solely responsible for education, they duped everyone by charging crazily high fees until things started falling apart for these guys. First, people started realizing that the kind of education they get from school won't help them in life. While some forgo school altogether, some look for additional ways to get education. Let me shock you with this truth. The online education industry is projected to be worth $325 billion by the year 2020. Yes, $325 billion. 
and anyone who knows what he's talking about can teach online. This is a new industry, and most people don't know it exists. So, how do you get into the game of online education? Very simple. What do you have expertise in? What are you passionate about? What can you teach other people? Look at the internet and you'll see all sorts of people teaching different kinds of things. For example, there are channels on YouTube teaching English, workouts, or even makeup. I'm here talking about entrepreneurship and money because that's my passion. You can be there talking about medicine or accounting. I've even seen people teaching history, economics, and little stuff like that. You have no idea how much some of these people are making. But because I am one of them, I can tell you that you can become wealthy by taking advantage of the new education industry by leveraging on the internet. 3. New Technology Industry Today, if you mention technology, most people see the pictures of the computers, software, plugins, phones, and things like that. While these are all technologies, we must not forget that it was a technological advancement discovered as at the time our ancestors discovered how to get fire out of stones. It was a tremendous technological advancement when our forefathers figured out that we can plant our crops and stop being nomadic. Technology has always been in progress, and my studies about entrepreneurship and successful entrepreneurs have shown me that the most successful entrepreneurs in the history of the world are those who take advantage of the new technologies before other people know about them. It is easier to use the examples of Steve Jobs, Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg. Still, if you go back to history, you'll notice that Henry Ford's success came as a result of discovering superior technologies, which his competitors didn't know about. And the history of other successful entrepreneurs will show you just how technologies are the blood of their success. Now, if you're an entrepreneur in the 21st century, which technology would you focus on? When Bill Gates was asked a similar question, his answer was artificial intelligence. And that is because artificial intelligence will change the world. Whatever can change the world will make some people extremely rich. Don't get me wrong, you don't necessarily have to obtain a degree in artificial intelligence. All you have to do is start with some blog posts, maybe buy one or two introductory books about artificial intelligence. You only need to know more than 99% of people. And since most people are lazy, you're in luck because you can easily outlearn them. I want to conclude this video with the wise words of Mark Cuban, which goes like, For the past one decade, my question has always been, where is the world going and how can I get there first? To be successful in life, you should always ask yourself, where is the world going and how can I get there before everyone else? If you think about media, the world is going entirely on the internet. So you might take your space here before everyone does. If you think about education, it's gradually moving away from school as people are now willing to learn all sort of things online. So if you want to start an education company, look at the industry that might be worth $325 billion soon. If you're an entrepreneur at all, you should look at artificial intelligence and see how you can understand it more than most people because this can make you extremely rich. Again, always ask yourself, where is the world going and how can I get there before everyone? If you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends. We love you.